It's a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, USA. Presenting the challenger, Haymaker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch them up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas. And Really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in the UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Also, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Keep your hands up, use your footwork, guys. It's okay. Use your 
Nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, missed on that one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Takedown defense holds up. And back to his feet. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice body kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Single collar tie now. Just over three minutes to go. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. I want that takedown now. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses with a left hook there. Effective strike there by Choi. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been like that. Nice kick. Back in the wall, wins his biggest strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Strike there by Chor. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Got the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He blocks the shot. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Right here, final seconds of round one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men. Stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. 
all those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Choi's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. And they separate. Big ball from West Lane. Now he gets back to range. Very tricky when he shows that body kick. Splits the guard lands the right hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Standing kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. A single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful head kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Straight punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. There's no kill on that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying. Oh! fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling should really be entertaining. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Seconds left. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And he's back up. Punch over the top. Nice leg kick land. Round three next.
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That's a big strike right there. He's throwing every part of himself to these big leg kicks. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice one-two combination there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Joy getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to his feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Slips. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. The ground and pound has been there all night. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Oh, lands with the ground and pound stroke. It's under three minutes now to go in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Choi. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. He's got the turn in that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Misses with the jab there. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Left and right hand. Big knee to the body. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Ah, that jab hurt him. Yeah, 
And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. I could put it now. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept flying forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Your cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning you get in the gym is really proving itself. That is your key to victory. You ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh! Big kick land. Oh! Huge right hand! Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Got him, dude! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. First Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. All right, so a big result for a big Man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the baddest man.